Toronto Botanical Garden. I'm Paul Zamet, the Nancy Eden Director of Horticulture here, and I'm thrilled to have you come for a visit and a tour. Our gardens feature 17 outdoor contemporary themed gardens that are designed to inspire and to give you ideas that you can take home for your own space. And while you're here on your tour, be sure to visit our wonderful gift shop, our seasonal cafe, and our extensive horticultural library, which is one of the largest in Ontario. You also have the opportunity to visit the beautiful and magnificent Edwards Gardens. Note, the Toronto Botanical Garden is conveniently located on the corner of Leslie and Lawrence. We're open from dawn till dusk with plenty of free parking. Are you ready for your tour to begin? Let's have some fun. In our gardens, we use no power equipment and no pesticides. We use the power of people. Our head gardener and our many, many volunteers tend to the garden extensively. When visiting the gardens, be sure not to miss our new pollinator garden, the straw bale shed, and our entry garden designed by Pete Udolf and Martin Wade, made possible through the generous donation of the Garden Club of Toronto. Also, when touring the garden, keep your eye out for art installations that may appear. Now this year is Pibu, and Pibu is something called a spectacle owl. One of the things that we're most proud about is our education programs here at the Toronto Botanical Garden. Our children's programs are quite extensive. Our classes for the children and for adults take place both indoors and within the garden. Why are we going to put rocks underneath the garden? It looks like, it looks like it's kind of... When visiting the Toronto Botanical Garden, you don't want to miss out on our kitchen garden, which each year celebrates the cuisine of a different country. We've celebrated Ireland, Italy, the Caribbean, among many others. And then another jewel of the Toronto Botanical Garden is our teaching garden. In that garden, we educate almost 5,000 children a year that plant that garden and then harvest from that garden. And we're proud to say that we donate about 700 to pounds of produce to the local food bank. We're very, very proud of that. And so too are the school children. We offer over 150 courses for adults and children. And they're not just restricted to horticulture. We offer floral arranging courses, botanical art classes, and even yoga classes. When visiting the gardens, be sure to look at them from every angle, including looking up. Behind me, you get a good view of our green roof, 2,400 square feet that has been planted with selections of sedums. This planting is very, very important for the qualifications of our LEED certified eco building. Other important features of our LEED certified building include the fritted glass, which filters out 50% of the heat gain to the building. In addition, the extensive trellis along the front of the building also helps to protect against heat gain. The deciduous material that grows on this trellis helps to shelter and shade the building in the summer months, whereas in the winter, when all the foliage is lost, it allows maximum penetration of light. Our building also hosts many, many horticultural events throughout the year, including Get the Jump on Spring in February, Doors Open, and Harvest Day in September, and the Summer Music Series. And that's not all. Many other horticultural societies and specialty groups hold events here. For example, the Southern Ontario Orchid Society has a large show here each February. The Toronto Botanical Garden is also an ideal space to hold many of your special events. We have rental facilities both indoors and out. And throughout the spring and summer, there are many, many weddings that take advantage of our beautiful outdoor spaces. We wish to thank you for visiting the Toronto Botanical Gardens and we hope you enjoyed the gardens and the facilities. It was a delight to have you and until the next time, happy gardening.